What's going on, everybody? I am back from Blade Show, Texas, and I have some things to unbox. Blade Show, Texas was amazing. Thank you guys so much for the support. Every single person that came by the table to talk or introduce yourselves or to say hi again. Um, and of course, everyone that came by to pick up a clip or scales or an RR station or an RR standard or one of everything, super cool. I really, really appreciate the support. So I might do another video like a little bit more in depth. Um, I was thinking of doing uh, kind of like a, not really a vlog, but like go from table to table and video and check out new knives for the channel. And I did not have time. I, I didn't have five minutes to do that. I was just swamped at my table. Um, because I was exhibiting, if you, um, haven't been to Blade Show, Texas, it's just non-stop, um, in an awesome, in the most awesome way. So anyway, let's go ahead and get this out of the way. Um, you can follow me at Knife Standards. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And of course you can find my designs at knifestandards.com. I have, um, purple stations, blue stations, and then my last... I think I have three or four RR standards left, and then that is it. Um, all right, so get that out of the way, and let's open these guys up. Um, let's do this one first. So this is kind of a re-unboxing. I was thinking of doing a video just for this, and I thought, eh, I'll just get both of them. So this is um, the Perry Customs Ronin number one let's see i have the card here and you guys have seen this knife before but um one thing that it didn't bother me personally but um one thing that was brought to my attention and i noticed it but again it didn't bother me was the tip was close it was almost too proud from the scales and if you kind of caught your finger the right way if you were feeling for it you could feel the tip. It was it was very it was borderline borderline. And again, in pocket, it didn't bother me. Um, but I wanted to get it taken care of, and now it's perfect. So I had this taken care of. Shout out to Transparent Knives for fixing this for me. Thank you so much. Um, so now it is just. You can see the spine is satin. Everything else is blasted, which I think actually looks really cool. Um, and there is no way you can touch the tip no matter how hard you try. So perfectly done by Transparent Knives. Amazing work. Um, so this knife, oh yeah, I love it. You guys can hear the, hopefully the acoustics are coming through. The acoustics are just insane on this. Um, this knife is up for sale and I have a couple um, kind of grail-ish knives that I am chasing after. So that is what this is going to fund. Woo, the acoustics. This may be the best sounding knife in my collection. Um, but anyway, this is for sale. Pretty solid deal. This is a full custom. Uh, so send me a message or an email if you're interested. Perfect. It's a strong detent. Definitely made for the reverse flick. If you're into reverse flicking uh, and strong detents, you'll love this. The action's super smooth, no issues now. There's a little snail trail, a little mark right there. Other than that, it's in great condition. The edge is pretty much perfect. And now the tip is perfectly enclosed. No issues. The backspacer, this kind of carved rock backspacer. Awesome. So. If you're interested in that, send me a message. And again, this is Perry Customs. It's a full custom knife. This is number one. Um, and it is in Magna Cut and of course, um, titanium darkened hardware. Boom. Okay, cool. So we got the Ronin there, unboxed again. And now let's get into my first Jack Wolf knife. This was loaned into the channel and I will be sending this back out probably tomorrow. Got a cool presentation. Of course, you guys have seen Jack Wolf knives all over the place. Um, and I'm excited to open up my first one or to check out my first one. Okay. <laughs> Got 
got a leather slip. Got a bunch of cool stuff in there. Stickers. Nice. So here's a little bit of that if you want to pause and read it. Modern interpretation, timeless design. So I think this is the Venom. Yeah, there you go. I was going to say, I think it's the Venom Jack. Boom. Venom Jack. Micarta. Actually feels pretty good. Feels like it already has the patina going on. This has been passed around quite a bit. Nice. You know, they call it the walk and talk, but I'm going to say it's the, it's the action, the walk and talk, the action, same thing. Really nice. Ergos feel good. Very aggressive. Warren Cliff blade shape. Super thin. Hollow grind. M390 blade steel. There are too many Jack Wolf knives for me to keep track of, but. Um, this looks like blasted titanium bolsters, um, but they all look cool. <laughs> Every one I've seen, I'm, you know, not all are not all of them are my style necessarily, but um, they all look cool. So I think if I had to pick one, and I don't follow it super closely, but the Vampire Jack I think probably is my favorite as far as the handle shape and the blade shape combined. Um, aesthetically, I haven't handled one. Uh, I would love to. Um, if anyone wants to loan one into the channel, let me know. Um, but I think the Vampire Jack might be my fave. This is cool. Really nice. I like it. It's it's what I expected. Quality materials, great construction, cool design. I'm into it. And got this leather slip. Very nice. So we got Harry Customs Ronin number one. We got the Venom Jack from Jack Wolf Knives. And, um, of course, again, a big shout out to everyone at Blade Show Texas. So many good makers and designers and companies. I had a blast. So thank you again. I'll catch you guys later.